What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Mash Punigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. In this episode, six tips to surviving a PR crisis. Now, all businesses are vulnerable um, to PR crises. This is public relation crises, no matter what their size or composition. They can come from anywhere. Employee mistakes or bad behavior, a defective product or even a natural disaster. Often, these crises um, occur outside of your ability to control or predict. In today's internet age, um, bad press can travel farther and farther than ever before. But it's not the end of the world. If you play your cards right, you'll be able to make it through unharmed or maybe uh, even turn it into an advantage. Here are a few tips. Number one, plan ahead. Public relation crises are almost always unexpected, but there is no excuse for not having a plan. You should make the time to think of likely scenarios that could be damaging to the company. Then this could be product recalls, customer complaints, and so on. Then establish a set of procedures or guidelines to follow in case they occur. You have fire drills in buildings, right? Now why not have PR crisis drills too? Number two, stay calm. When faced with a PR crisis, far too many executives panic and shoot out you know, a knee-jerk kind of reaction that causes more problems than it solves. Taking a breath before doing anything gives you time to get your facts straight and come up with a kind of a considered response. Number three, respond quickly. Nothing will cause your company more damage than a slow or non-existent response. Nothing spreads through the kind of grapevine faster than bad press. Public opinion will roll on, roll on with or without you. And the more absent you are, the bigger the firestorm you will have to deal with. Respond immediately to the original complaint, even if it is just to acknowledge their, the kind of, you know, the presence and the problem. Number four, acknowledge the problem. Don't dance around the topic. Address the issue straight on and speak to the original complainant. Tell them what caused the problem and what you're doing to sort of resolve it or address it. Doing so shows that you take your customers seriously and value their feedback. In the case of larger issues like uh, irresponsible employee behavior, it will demonstrate that you take uh, company values and ethics very seriously. Number five, monitor the media. Public complaints tend to take on a life of their own, often spiraling far out of the reach of the original complaint. Watch the news and social media and see what, what they're saying about the incident. If you can get a handle on how public opinion is swaying, you'll be able to perform damage control by correcting any misconceptions or addressing additional kind of concerns. Number six, balance the scales. Whether you're done or has been done to you uh, to attract uh, all the bad press, it's still up to you to make it right. Resolve customer complaints by offering them replacement products or, or free services. Perform kind of corrective uh, actions against employees responsible for or the kind of subject of the complaint. Your reaction doesn't need to be passive either. You can release some positive public relation articles to remind customers about all the good things your company has done in the past and how the service will improve after the complaints have been addressed. Who knows, you may end up converting the customer back over to your side and more people online. Have you ever been in a, in a kind of a PR nightmare? How did you solve the problem? Let me know by commenting on this video below and uh, let's have a discussion and let people learn what's going on with your business if you ever faced a PR crisis. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions on this topic, please hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Bonigala or leave comments below this video and I will surely get back. And if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to this channel. Till my next video, take care.